leadership is forecasting a return to profits this year. Despite the negative effects from the earthquake in northeastern Japan, this year we expect a 4% increase in sales and about the same level of net profit. Sony used to be a byword for the cutting edge in consumer electronics, but the company that gave the world the Walkman and the PlayStation has lost its lead to competitors such as Apple and Samsung. The March 11th earthquake and tsunami that devastated large parts of Japan's east coast also knocked out several of Sony's plants. As a result, it has been forced to write off $4.4 billion in assets. The most recent set of earnings figures covers the 12 months to the end of March, and though Sony has been working hard to restore production, it could struggle to meet orders well into its current financial year. But it isn't just the tsunami that's affected Sony's brand. It has also been rocked by a series of online security breaches. In April, hackers attacked the PlayStation gaming network, stealing names, email addresses and passwords of around 100 million users, prompting a public apology. And earlier this week, Sony admitted to attacks on the PlayStation networks in Canada, Thailand and Indonesia. One analyst says Sony's problems are a symptom of Japan's broader management culture. This obsession with having to appear infallible, I think it results in, a, in an underlying weakness, in fact, of the Japanese corporate culture. A culture of conspiracy to hide cock-ups, I suppose. Um, and I think this has been seen throughout uh, Japanese companies of all sizes. Sony looks set for a long and bumpy road ahead in the race to win back customers' hearts and their wallets. Azhar Sukri, Al Jazeera.